Okay, let's start with introduction. Smartman 3D is the most advanced software when compared to PDMS and PDS, it is most advanced. Even small gasket or any board, it will reflect error. Okay, it is a you can it can reduce it can reduce the product schedules and increase the production of it can optimize the production and we can we can integrate some complementary products like smart band from instrumentation electrical these are all are uh, the complementary products of interweb these are uh, created by the interweb only everything is a uh, everything smart band instrumentation electrical will be done by the instrumentation people or electrical people and smart plan PNID which is the input for any, any project anything smart sketch is the output smart sketch is the input or output output for the output for output and the smart plan foundation is nothing but uh, that every, every structure and those structure people will do this smart plan foundation and smart plan review is nothing but the project uh, completion. After completion of the project, we can uh, give some uh, file like that uh, in smart plan review with the uh, .bq file. And smart plan review is same that reflects with SPR also. And let's start now the software. This smart plan 3D is nothing but it is a data full of database software uh, completely run with the uh, SQL server. Uh, anything we can. Uh, it is completely. It is online interlinked with uh, all computers and everything. Once we update in one computer, it will reflect to the all computers automatically when we uh, click on the refresh button, which is there in uh, SmartPen 3D. Whenever we open the session, the SmartPen 3D. At starting, it will ask what type of unit we have to take. Generally, we use metric units for every project or anything or English units also. There is no problem. Whatever, the, whatever the units, uh, we can change whatever it is there in uh, data. After opening the session, this is the complete view. Everyone is seeing, right? Screen is uh, visible to all. Okay. First of all, let's go with the. Whenever we open the session, first of all, we have to create a workspace, right? Click on file, and to want to write it, want to write the steps of how to open this. There is no problem. Otherwise, I will give uh, every uh, videos and everything and uh, document documents also. Don't worry. Each and every step will be written on this the presentations and uh, not in presentation, it is there in document that I will give, I will give you. And uh, whenever we open the session, first of all we have to define the workspace. There is a button in file called define workspace. It's the plan which you have to create earlier. And we have already loaded that plan. This should be created by the uh, admin administrators. There are two persons which are completely involved in SP3D. First person is like the admin administrators and second person is our user level. User level persons can only do the modeling modeling point and when, when and the, the administrator will do the whatever we have seen that ex, uh, everything pipe, components and parts or piping parts or structure, whatever it may be, whatever the task, they will only create and they will only insert. We have to use the whatever the component they are inserted. Yes, we have to use that the whatever the components the administrators are inserted. First of all, whenever we create the starting session, we have to select the plan, whatever, whatever we do. But we are here we created that SPD plan and we use it using that one. Next we have to create one filter. SPD is completely depending on the filter only. Filters are nothing but that we have to Whatever we want to see, we have to load it in the filter. First, for the further one, we have to. Okay. 
we have to select the filter. In the drop down box, we have, will see that two options create new filter and more. For the other one, we have to create a new filter. We have to click on we have to click on the new filter and there is a window will pop up here see there is a name box here we have to enter the name whatever we want generally we will have, uh, we can put our name in any company we have to go to our company they will give one filter we have to use only that filter only other than that filter we can use any other filters they will they will fire us okay that uh, that that much restrictions are there for the these filters because why because the, some they will give some permissions and everything for this particular filter okay just time i will go uh, already i given the filters but i will uh, create one more filter now i will give the name training training and giving Date 13. Create and select the and here in the bottom we have so many options. Properties, reference, reference 3D, configurations, what breakdown structure, permission groups, and object type, volume, systems, assembly, name space, analysis. In that one, first of all, we have to select the system. In the system, whatever there in our plan what we created earlier everything will be there in this problem in the problem structure this is nothing but the, the, uh, every, whatever the components even uh, the structure, civil, uh, piping, equipment in any companies we can't touch whatever we can touch only whatever the task given to us Other if you, if we, if you if presently they are giving the piping session but we are taking that uh, any equipment session, they will uh, they will take a severe action on us. Uh, and one more thing is that they won't they won't give a permission for us to uh, touch that one. It will uh, it will delay it may maybe chance there is a chance of uh, deleting also. So that's why they won't give permission for us. First then first of all we give give the name for this one the filter name and later they have to select the. Uh, a1 that is nothing but already we have done so many sessions here okay that one for that one uh, i created this a1 otherwise select this one if we set in the uh, at the down we are seeing that include nested objects see everyone is seeing right see in the bottom everyone is seeing that see everyone is seeing in the bottom you uh, include nested objects it means that if you select the a1 then it will select everything which is there inside the structure. There is nothing but tree structure which is there. Everything will be selected. It is like the tree structure. If we select the A1, it will select everything in the bottom. If you unclick this one, they will say only the A1 is selected. A1 will be loaded. Under the, under the A1, nothing will be loaded. If you click on the nested objects and click on the A1, everything will be selected. So, first of all, I only click on the SP3D frame and I will tell you each and every point how to create a structure and everything. First of all, select the SP3D frame which is the plan name and click on OK. This is the properties. What we selected there. Click on, unclick this one and do natural objects and click on SP3D frame and click on OK. And select OK. No plan will load. In let me try. Right? First of all, I will tell you the structure. How to create the structure. It is a little bit slow because I am taking this in online. So that's why we will do the internet connections. It will be slow. Don't worry. This is the total view of SP3D. At the bottom, at the top of the top of this one, file edit the, uh, and this uh, tool for us is there now. File edit view insects format tools project is everything that is everything is nothing but common toolbar that is mentioned in our schedule. I will tell you everything each and everything in that session today. And uh, this is the graphic user interface. 
that what we are modeling here, we have can represent everything in this box. We can take two boxes or any number of windows, we can take a number of windows, there is no problem at all. We can see uh, different views. And uh, this is nothing but workspace. It's nothing but WBA structure, nothing but work breakdown structure. Here I will tell you now. Click on the, first of all I will tell you the WBS items. First right click on the SP3 train. Nothing but the plant name. And in that new system will appear. And select the new system. In that new system there are so many options are there. New generic system, new area system and new concrete system. New and everything is there in the system. In that, in that first of all we have to create the area system. In that area, it will ask what is the name of the area. So that just write the name. E D P. It is nothing but a water pipe system or uh, somehow the water will be in any area, in any kind of ETP should be there. Let's just write the ETP, no problem. And name rule will be user defined and it is OK, no problem. And click on OK. It should create some ETP right here. Everyone is seeing, right? Okay, click on the ETP and we have to select them. Yes, right. Click on ETP. Now we start with the SKK. We right click on the ETP. This is area name. Remember the little one. This is the area name. Right click here. Then okay, select on the system again. We have to select on new system and select the new unit. We have to create everything, piping, structure, whatever there is in there, we have to uh, make it under the easy change system only. Change will right, we'll ask whatever it is, what is the name, what is the name of the easy system. Answer it as a unit 1. I am writing, writing here as a unit 1. We'll create that unit 1 will be displayed here. Again we have to create the task means the whatever function we are doing here now. In that we have so many tasks, electrical conduit systems, uh, equipment systems, HVA systems, pipelines. Pipeline will be created under piping system, no problem. No, no. We are not discussing about that. We will discuss in, third, in our third session or uh, tomorrow maybe. Okay. Uh, in that we have to create a new piping system. In that we have to create the name of the Piping name, piping uh, area. Just write out that piping. Let's click on OK. It will create that piping name. Okay. Again, we have to click on unit 1 to create another task. Consider it as an equipment system. <coughs> now we have to do the equipment name. Equipment, sorry, equipment area, equipment name. Just click on this one as equipment. And click on OK. Yes. We can, we can, we can also create that one uh, reminding that uh, on loops, electrical, whatever there in that uh, system, everything can we can create. But now we can uh, create up to now this one. Okay.